Johnny, we did a hard-hitting expose yesterday. I'm sure it's going to go viral about whether dogs believe their people or people believe their dogs. Now, something's come to light overnight about this particular subject. Oh, yes, Johnny. Now, I'm sure that episode will go viral. But while I was doing research overnight for another upcoming documentary, I found this particular piece of information. Have a look. All right. I really wanted to show you today, though. So here's this new sort of breaking news story. No, stop it. This oh, is no. That's a beautiful looking collie. This is no, one man. No, 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 no. This is one man in Japan. He decided to take things to the next level. He spent over $15,000 to turn himself into a border collie. Uh, this is a man who goes by the name of Toko. <laughs> a man in a suit? Are you bloody kidding me? <laughs> now this bloke in Japan, funnily enough, because we were talking about Japanese dogs yesterday. Uh, funnily enough, he's wanted to be a dog for bloody years, and he's got more and more advanced outfits as the years have gone by, and this is his ultimate bloody uh, dog suit. For this Japanese man, his dream conformed to a particular physiology. Twitter user Toko-san fulfilled his long-standing dream of looking like an animal when he transformed himself into a collie, a breed of dogs. But Johnny, what's he thinking? Is he, does he really believe he's a bloody dog or is he doing it for bloody, uh, bloody attention? One can only wonder, Johnny, what's going through this dickhead's head. Uh, is he thinking he's a dog? Is he slowly becoming a dog? Is he going to be able to function in, in coming years or will he just... It's a man who goes by the name of Toko. He has a YouTube channel. Oh, he's got, he's got a YouTube channel. You know, those YouTubers, I'll stoop to any bloody low. You can't bloody trust those bastards. They'll do anything for attention to get attention. Actually, it's not a bad idea to, to get your numbers up on YouTube. I'm sure he, there's a lot of bloody people who'll be looking at him. For um, in his YouTube channel, he goes on walks as a dog. He rolls around as a dog. He sleeps as a dog. He even eats. I mean, dog look at food. the way he's walking. It, a human is look. not supposed to walk like that. It looks yeah. like my dad's dog had hip dysplasia. Right. That's sort of what that I was looks say, like. Like that's that not looks right. Like it needs to be put down. <laughs> I mean, is he getting any medical attention? Is anybody caring over there in Japan? But Johnny, is this doing any harm to anybody? Is he hurting anybody? Well, it's not particularly hurting other people, Johnny, but there is a bloody uh, a young brigade out there who are very highly influenced by, uh, by what they see on YouTube. Right, it's been becoming more and more mainstream because like you have these fetishes, they're embraced, nobody really pushes back. And I think like for me, I feel like kids just want to be accepted for who they are, right? But like they don't find that acceptance for who they are when they don't fit into these certain categories. So they go online and they see other people being accepted by a bunch of people for who they are. So it's like it's if because a lot of people just let this go and now it's now it's becoming a mainstream thing. And and you're right, like it's it started with gender. Now it's working its way into species. And then it's like, there's people that think they're aliens and have their bodies like completely changed to look alien-like. So what? Jesus Christ almighty. You're copying this sort of behavior and before, and before long we'll have a fucking pack. Yes, a pack of bloody people getting around in realistic dog outfits. I mean, is that the way we want society to bloody, to bloody develop? Right, yes. Yes, I see. I don't think it is. Yes, uh, I'm hearing you. Wanted to be, be like a dog. Now you can do this. Part of the transhumanism movement includes people turning themselves into dogs. Okay. So here's an example. Here's a guy from England. He became a Dalmatian. Uh, he sleeps and lives in a Dalmatian costume for $5,000. Um, he plays fetch. He sleeps in a kennel. Uh, he, he does. And his, I guess his wife or partner or whatever looks really thrilled about it. Oh, Jesus Christ, Johnny. I mean, you could ask any bloody psychologist out there, Johnny, if that's the way we want to develop. And I think that, I don't think they'd go along with it. Right, yes. Yes, I see. 
they would see it as a bloody a, a social disaster. And I mean, Johnny, if these people do, if, if the numbers do increase, are they going to get around at night in a pack? Hunting deer out there in the wilderness and howling? Are they going to be bloody, are they going to be marauding around sheep herds and, and frightening people? I mean, it just can't go on. So then we've got to, so, but Johnny, in the past, if you would have said to people in 1930, say, that there were going to be uh, blokes pretending to be women and swimming in the Olympics and Christ knows what, high jumping and Christ knows what, and people would accept them as just, as just women. But Johnny, back then they were very closed-minded. I mean, they didn't even like homosexuals. But there's no telling where this dog thing will go in bloody 40 years. No! Yeah, are people going to get married? Yeah, is he going to look for a wife who dresses up as a bloody, yeah, there's a poodle? Oh, surely that'll never happen, Johnny. There, there, there are laws against that sort of stuff, aren't there? So laws can change, Johnny. Stupidity can increase. Uh, people who are bloody uh, born male and think they're female, they, 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 that's a legitimate thing now. And I suppose people who are born humans and think they're bloody Rottweilers, I suppose that will become a regular bloody uh, a normal part of a, a, a human. And what if they have children, Johnny? What are those poor kids going to be exposed to? Are they going to have to wear little bloody suits? Or are they just going to have to get used to mum and dad who walk around thinking they're dogs? Or is all this just a bloody, all this just a sham of a show? And this bloke, once he's finished filming, he just gets his normal clothes on and turns back into a human? That's a possibility. Holy shit! We could be being strung along here, Johnny. Yeah, made to look idiots. Are you bloody kidding me? And us being made to look like idiots, Johnny, is not what the bloody ass Johnny channel is all about. Well, yeah, you're right, we are a hard-hitting news channel, that's for sure. I mean, you, you can't believably get dressed up in a chihuahua outfit and try and convince people you're a bloody chihuahua. I mean, that's not gonna bloody, that's not gonna work. Well, Johnny, this has been an extraordinary program. I'm sure this one's gonna go viral too. Hope is limited. They can't just be these little fucking uh, chihuahuas and Pomeranians, because that will just... Right, yes. Yes, I see. We love each other. What are you gonna do about it?